More than four months ago, a Park City teenager caught severe pneumonia and was hospitalized. Within 10 days, his lungs collapsed and he needed a double lung transplant to live. But as new specialist Jed Bull reports, he was denied a spot on the transplant list at the University of Utah Hospital as his family desperately sought help nationwide. Jed? Yeah, up until Thanksgiving, 19-year-old Riley Hansey led a pretty normal life for a Park City teenager, but then his lungs collapsed and his family was told that Riley was denied a transplant at the University of Utah. He was an avid skier, river runner, biker, enjoying life to its fullest. Bad enough that his once healthy son needed a double lung transplant to live. His lungs collapsed and that fast, and they still have no idea what happened. When he was told his son could not be on the transplant list, Mark Hansey, I couldn't believe it. The reason? Riley did smoke a, a marijuana on Thanksgiving night with his friends. And tested positive for THC. Is that really a reason to disqualify him? The doctor told Riley, you will die. You better get your affairs in order. And his reaction to this? Oh, he started crying. His father tells me Riley had been drug free for a year. Riley was not a big pot smoker. He did smoke pot. He's a 19-year-old ski guy. The University of Utah cannot talk specifically about Riley's case, but the hospital follows international guidelines for transplants and evaluates cases individually. In a statement, we do not transplant organs in patients with active alcohol, tobacco, or illicit drug use or dependencies until these issues are addressed as these substances are contraindicated for a transplant. Age and other medical conditions may also exclude patients from the list. It's not like he's a, a smoker for 30 years and, and, and deteriorated his lungs because of that. Mark Hansey scoured the country for a hospital willing to do the transplant. Two months ago, the University of Pennsylvania Hospital agreed. Riley was flown to Philadelphia on medical transport. I looked at Riley and I went, oh my gosh, this poor, this poor soul looks like death. Twelve days ago, doctors gave Riley two donor lungs. He looks so healthy. It made all the difference. And he still looks healthy, but he's still fighting and doing well. Yeah, Riley's under sedation right now and not communicating a lot. Mark Hansey tells me that his son will recover at the hospital in Philadelphia for about a year with family members visiting for support. And doctors tell Mark Hansey that Riley should be able to return to many of his favorite activities after a lot of recovery. Thank goodness he was able to get that procedure done. Guys? Jed, thank you so much. Yeah, grateful that uh, his family was able to get that done for him. Thanks. Next, limping to